Hi, I'm Josh from Hazel Engineering and we specialise in architectural steel and this is where Park Road started off for us. Sean Laurie introduced us to Praddy. Um, first thing was the gate behind me um, and that led to all the structural steel, all his river, uh, the pool fencing and all some sculptural work inside. Our favourite feature would have to be the stairs. We 3D printed some design concepts for Praddy um, and worked on with him pretty closely to get the structure that we needed with minimal uh, steel involved. With the Fusion 360 software, we've developed it, printed it out, folded it, and then we're able to weld it. Um, and it fits within a mill, so we're pretty happy with that one. With the gate, we've started off um, as JPEG images come off the internet, as a scene that involves the Yarra River um, and like petty orchards and stuff around the area. Um, we then used copper hand hammered the copper to make a pop um, and we've used different acids and salts and methods with heat uh, involved to get that to go different colours for us. Um, the gate itself weighs about 300 kilos. For us, hearing the feedback from the public walking past, they reckon there's a bit of art on Park Road um, and that's really good to hear. The most challenging would have been the river um, as there's not much guidance. You can't really ask people how to build an internal river in a house. Um, Praddy discussed it with us when we first got here and I've um, then come out and we drew on the same program with the waterfalls involved. Um, then we chased a river through uh, off Google Images and Maps with the Yarra River Bend um, and we've scaled it down to be a feature of about a Warrandyte style river. Um, we then got a cabinet making company to route out the templates for the formwork. Um, the formwork was then built into boxes and put in place and then from there we were able to get the same DXF drawings for the glass and the steel all cut to the same tolerance and make it fit 